Okay, guys. I thought I'd do a video on uh, loadout vests and, you know, ballistics, I guess. See, I've got a question about that. Somebody's asking, what do I recommend? And, I mean, it depends on the scenario, man. Um, here, got some uh, body armor, AR-500. On the other side, just a um, loadout vest. Of course, if you can afford, if you got the money to put into armor, well, there you go. Just a regular Blackhawk, uh, Blackhawk low visibility plate carrier. And um, I just attached this on here with Velcro, so you know, I can still put it under something if I wanted to. But um, if not, that's cool. But uh, yeah, that's it. See, some kind of riot type scenario. You know, people have firearms and doing some looting. Well then, I'll put this guy on. If I need to. But, on the other side, assuming there are no other firearms, well then this guy, really, I mean, look at it. You, you can load a lot of stuff in it. It's kind of cool. You can put some food, a little bit of food, a little water, ammo, um, primary, set, you know, ammo mags and... Uh, secondary and flashlight and all that stuff it's cool but really it's not really that much odds are if you're in some real shit at the fan scenario um, if it's that bad you're probably not gonna go through all that ammunition in the first place right that's not gonna work out um, these suckers these and those will both each pouch will hold a um, Two AR or two AK mags each, or three AR mags. I'd probably double them up, but you could do it. But the odds are of going through six mags. I don't know about that. <clears throat> of course, a lot of people, you know, they want to carry every possible thing they can. They'd say, you know what? Take the pouches off this, put this on, put that on. Man, have you tried that? Those, those those plates are pretty darn heavy. Pouch and mags and all, that's going to be... Well, I think this sucker weighs 23 pounds, as is, without ammunition. And that's not counting any water, gun, or anything else. That's just, if I right there, as is, 23 pounds. So you're not going to be moving that fast with that sucker. Right? This, on the other hand, you know, pros and cons. No, it's not bulletproof. I mean... I was thinking about putting some Kevlar in this sucker. You know, the straps on the inside. It wouldn't be the best, but it some. But yeah, I mean, there, there's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Right? If you want to move quickly, have everything ready to go, well then, the loadout vest is your way to go. If you don't have any body armor, um, well then, definitely the, the loadout vest is the way to go. You can have some cleaning gear like I do. Uh... Ammo, you can, I got a canteen pouch on there. Got a couple things on there, right? If I needed to, just grab it, grab that, grab uh, my bug out bag, and that's it, I go. Um, if things are really bad, you got somebody out in the street, I don't have much time, you know, there's all kinds of rioters or something, well, then I put that body armor on, right? <clears throat> They're gonna go around torching places, well, you know what? Just that one vest right there, just in case, because you got a group, well, somebody's going to probably be packing. Then just that right there, and I'm outside, you know, get the hell out of here. And that's it. So it depends on what you're going to what you're gonna do. But, you see, you want to grab and go, You wanna, that means you probably want to grab and go quickly. The uh, loadout vest, you can move quickly with that. It's not that heavy. It's pretty comfortable. It's breathable. Yeah. And this sucker, well, I mean, yes, it can. It's pretty, pretty rough stuff. Of course, you're exposed on the side, but it, it's rifle plating. Soft armor will not stop rifles. Rifle plating will. Um, and those out there, I figured, be the best way to go for me. <clears throat> but you're not moving that fast with body armor, man. And if you, you know, ceramic, well, 
that stuff, I, I've made, I've pointed out its weaknesses. I mean, it's light, but it crumbles. You have to have an x-ray. It can only take a shot or two. This, if I needed to, it could take multiple shots. So, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. It's what do you see happening? So, I don't know. Me, I just, I have that vest. I'm going to keep it. You never know. I bought it when, uh, back in the day, they're trying to make uh, body armor illegal. You know what? They're going to make it illegal. I'm going to buy it now. It was my right to do it, so I did it. And now I have it, so I have it. That's it. So if I needed to, I'd use it. If not, probably this. And, you know, watch the video I did on, on body armor, um, if you're interested in that. Right? You could probably, I mean, there's a couple armors I recommend, but you can probably take a, a lightweight, you know, level uh, 3 vest and put it on there. Or take the Kevlar and put it in there, too. And kind of, you know, somewhere in the middle of both ways. There's no right or wrong answer, guys. It's whatever you think is going to happen. There's no one size fits all, man. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good one.